Variable resistor. In the circuit shown in figure, R is a variable resistor whose value ranges from zero to infinity. And A and B are the terminals of a battery that has an electromotive force epsilon equals 15 volts and an internal resistance of R equals 4 ohms. The ammeter and voltmeter are idealized meters. As R varies over its full range of values, what will be the largest and smallest readings of the voltmeter and the ammeter? And sketch qualitative graphs of the readings of both meters as functions of R. So we have a battery which has an internal resistance R connected to a voltmeter across its terminals and ammeter in series with a variable resistor with resistance R. So we can see that the circuit is basically the following. We have the epsilon electromotive force R, the um, internal resistance. We have current I flowing in the circuit. Uh, it goes uh, through the variable resistor with resistance R. So you can see that the current I in this circuit will be I equals the electromotive force epsilon divided by the equivalent resistance, which is R plus lowercase r, the internal resistance. And the potential difference that we measure across the uh, the source here is basically V, which is, uh, because the current is flowing in this direction, it's going to be uh, epsilon minus IR. So going from here to here, it's epsilon minus IR because we're passing through the negative uh, terminal. So V, v is equal to epsilon minus I. R. So I know what I is. It is uh, epsilon over capital R plus R. Uh, so that this multiplied with the internal resistance R will give me the voltage reading. Now I can see what the voltage reading will be as a function of R. It is epsilon parentheses I have capital R plus R minus R divided by capital R plus R so these internal resistance values will cancel out and I will see that the potential re reading as a function of the variable resistance R will be epsilon times R divided by R plus uh, lowercase r, which is my internal resistance. Okay, so if I look at these values for R is equal to zero, for R is equal to zero, I will see that the potential at R is equal to zero will be zero. If I look at R is equal to infinity, then I will see that potential at R is equal to infinity will be, because it, it will be much greater than this R, they will cancel out and I will be left with epsilon here. So these will be the readings when I go through the range of R. So in numerical value, R is equal to zero, I have zero volts reading, and R is equal to infinite, I have the epsilon reading, which is 15 volts. Okay, now as for the current, let's look at the current here. And by the way, in part C, I'm supposed to plot the voltage as a function of R. I have found at zero, it is zero. At infinity, it is 15, so it's going to approach asymptotically 15, so this will be potential as a function of R. Now, the current as a function of R is uh, epsilon 
divided by capital R plus R, which is what I have written here, the uh, epsilon divided by the equivalent resistance. So for R is equal to zero, this current value will be epsilon divided by the internal resistance R. When R is equal to infinite, infinity, the current will be zero. So this is what I will find. For the numerical values at R is equal to zero, I have 15 volts divided by 4 ohms. That was the internal resistance R. So this gives me a current reading of 3.75 amps on the ammeter. And when R is equal to infinity, once again, the current is 0 amps. So this will be the reading. So if I plot current as a function of resistance, it should asymptotically approach zero starting from 3.75 amps. So here we go. It starts from 3.75 and approaches zero asymptotically as R increases. So in this problem, we looked at a variable resistor connected to a battery, uh, which has an internal resistance R, and we have an ammeter in the circuit and the voltmeter measures the voltage across the terminals of the battery. Uh, this variable resistance can vary between zero and infinity. So we want to know maximum and minimum voltage and current readings. So first I look at the equivalent circuit. There is the variable resistance connected in series with the internal resistance R. So that gives me a current epsilon divided by capital R plus R, and the voltage that I'm reading across the battery is epsilon minus IR, which is epsilon capital R divided by capital R plus R. So I can substitute R equals zero to find zero reading, and R equals infinity to find epsilon reading, because R's will cancel, this will be negligible. And as for the current, when R is equal to zero, I measure epsilon divided by R. When R is infinite, I goes to zero. So when I plot this, the voltage starts from zero, asymptotically approaches epsilon. The current starts from epsilon over R and asymptotically approaches uh, zero. So that's epsilon divided by the internal resistance R is the starting point and it asymptotically approaches zero as R goes to infinity.